Okay, so now that we have the sound adjusted, and once again, I apologize for my audio not being as clear as it used to be because uh, you normally I have this, this big microphone right here, this guy right here. I normally use my studio microphone to record my voice, but since I'm recording my screen, I can't do both at once. I can't record my screen and record my great audio all at the same time. It's kind of confusing, but I, I hope you understand. Okay, so we have the sound adjusted, so I'm gonna go ahead and just close that control panel. And I want to check to make sure that I'm in a good environment to record a reflective video. So I'm gonna come down here to the dock and I'm going to open up QuickTime Player. If it's not available, you can just go ahead and, and press the magnifying glass and you know QUI and it'll, it'll find it there and, and you can go ahead and launch QuickTime Player. Now, you might be thinking, uh, Mr. Flick, you didn't do it. But actually I did. The only thing that changes on your whole screen when you launch QuickTime Player is the word QuickTime Player shows up up here. That's the only thing that changes, right up here in the top left-hand side. So if I was in Safari, da 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 da, switch to QuickTime, only thing that changes is this guy right up here. So don't freak out. Nothing shows up on your screen. No big fancy window pops up like, welcome to QuickTime Player. Nothing happens like that. So I've got QuickTime Player going, and I know it because it says it right up here in the top uh, left side. And I'm going to go to File and New Movie Recording. As I do that, it's going to activate the FaceTime camera that's up there. And da, uh, there I am. Okay, so now I've got the camera right here that my finger's pointing at is recording this. Um, so let's talk about the environment to do a uh, reflective video. So first off, you need good lighting on you. So uh, if I tilt it, you, actually you can just see, look around the edges over here, see over here and here. I, I have a window that's actually behind my MacBook and it's nice and bright. So it's letting nice window, a nice window light on me. So I'm well lit. So that's, that's good. You need a good environment. You need something with an interesting or plain background, but not distracting. So interesting, so you see I've got like an angry bird, oops, over here an angry bird. I got these colors going on over here and I got my whiteboard, a little bit of reflection there. I don't mind, it's, it's not a bad environment for me and, and you want something either plain, like a plain white wall, that works great too. But in this case, I have my, my home office here and it's pretty interesting. In fact, you can see my, my notes on my whiteboard that's behind me. Okay, so you have an interesting background. And you also need to have a quiet place. Okay, it can't be, a classroom is the worst place on earth to record a reflective video. Because first of all, the background's gonna be distracting unless you can find yourself a little corner. And it is so loud, your microphones on that MacBook are gonna pick up every noise in the whole room. They're what's called omnidirectional. Omni meaning everything. Everything around the MacBook is gonna be picked up, okay? because that's you know how the microphones work. Now there's a little bit of technology. It's trying to do a little bit of noise canceling. In fact, we could see that. Oh, let me open up that preference again in sound. We could see this little checkbox right here. It says use ambient noise reduction. I mean, it's trying to, with the software, reduce some of the other sounds around you. But the best thing is, is to find a quiet little corner at the school, sometimes in the media center or library, or at your home. You know, not, not in the bus, not in the car ride home with all the traffic noises, just a nice quiet place. So you have that. So you have nice lighting and you have a nice uh, quiet place to record. Now the next thing is that try to put your MacBook up on a few books, like stack some books underneath it to raise it up because you want your FaceTime camera, the little camera, basically at your eyesight. And, and um, if I could tilt my camera down here, let me just go ahead and tilt it down. You can see, you know, my MacBook is on a stand. Okay, there's there's the bright windows out there. Uh, my MacBook is on a stand. Let me just see if I can get this back to where it needs to go. Is that basically it? Okay, so you need to raise it up. Otherwise, the MacBook camera, the little FaceTime camera, is kind of like looking up your nose. You know, it's it's weird like that. So, so get that set up, and in the next video, we're gonna actually record the reflective video part. So we've got, the sound set up great, lighting looks good, background looks good, MacBook is nice and raised up. Now we're finally ready to make a good MacBook uh, recording. Wait, 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 I'm not done. I got editing the video, I'm like, oh, I forgot to tell him one of the most important things. Okay, make sure that your composition of your shot is good, 
Okay, you can see I've got just, I call this headspace, just a little itty bitty, bitty, just a little bit above my head. Okay, you do not want it. Let's see if I can reflect like this. Put your face right in the middle of it. I mean, who wants to see the ceiling, the vent that's up there? And all, I mean, that's not what you want. Have you ever uh, FaceTime with grandma? Because they're, they're normally like this. I'm like, grandma, lower the camera. Okay, so just I get my laptop in the right place again. So make sure you adjust your laptop so that it doesn't cut off your head. You're not like just on your lips down here or anything. You've got it just, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Just right there. Perfect. Okay, now, now you can go on to the next video. Sorry.